Welcome to this video. I'm going to show you how to get to and solo on the Zoriat. Legitimately. I'm just going to do it on normal. It becomes exceedingly difficult to try to solo this on hard and elite. Because once the boulder, beholders come out, um, it just uh, turns into mayhem really fast. I'm sure it'd be a very fun challenge um, to accomplish it on hard and elite. I've tried on hard and it was just too much. Once the beholders come out, it's ridiculous. This this build can basically do nothing against the beholders. If I can't get out of there, anti-magic. doing uh, Epic Elite solo video Prisoner Plane soon and I'm gonna have to skip the middle of the room because there's, there's no escape from the anti-magic there and just, I can't do enough melee damage between me and the wolf to, to take it down in a reasonable amount of time. Won't be able to do the uh, dialogue room either. You just gotta be lawful, and I'm neutral. But the other rooms, I'll be doing all of the others. That's for another time. So here, this is gonna be the way so far to both of the raids down here, Vision of Destruction and Hound of Zoriad. And this portal will be locked until you kill these skellies here. If you're going to a vision of destruction raid, you would probably go over this way. Some people like to take the high road, which is up those stairs back there, and drop down to the lights from above, but most groups go the low road, which is right over here. We're going to go to Hondo Zoriat through this portal. We're going to make it right as soon as we come out. So you have a holder here. If you're a spellcaster, you want to hit it with a spell right away before its anti-magic kicks in. doesn't unlock until you kill those two frost renders. And the holder mind flare, you can just run by him. So we just left the subterrain central and now we're in the subterrain east. Here we're looking for a couple of runes. I believe they're intelligence runes, but they're not very high. You should be alright. Um, if you have particularly low intelligence, then you might want to make sure that you bring some, or you memorize Fox's Cunning, or bring a potion or a wand or something. Or maybe even your dog could get it. just backspace around or, or Q or whatever button you use to select non-combat targets and the rune will show up through the walls. And we needed two runes to open up that gate there. And there's 
the second one there, you can see it's showing up right through the wall. several beholders up ahead. You know, if you're a spellcaster, just make sure you hit them right away. Otherwise you'll be running running away from them trying to escape their anti-magic aura. And that's just no fun. That's probably what I'll have to do right here. And up here we're looking for two more runes. Actually, up ahead a little bit still. So the ruins can be anywhere around here. They can just queue around or backspace around, whatever you use. And once you get the two ruins, there's the first one. It'll open up that gateway there. First one, second one's up here. And then we gotta clear all the trash in this area in order to open up the next portal to get to the raid. It's gonna be Beholder in each direction, which can make things a little tricky. I 
should just put spell absorption on right now, but I'm being lazy. So I'm just going to do this on normal. Uh, if it goes right, it'll be very, very easy. But uh, this, this is the easiest raid you'll ever fail. And, yeah, even when you have a, a full group, uh, you know, it can seem like things are going perfectly smooth, and then the Beholders come in, break the charms, and everything goes to hell in a matter of seconds. It's ridiculous how fast this raid can wipe not so much more these days because the level cap is 28 but back in the day for sure and I suppose this probably still happened happening when you're in groups where they, people know what they're doing this isn't a popular raid anymore I think that a lot of the knowledge of this raid is getting lost so as I said we're gonna have the wolf tank this sort of uh, just gonna have the wolf run in and grab ZZ's aggro is important to not let ZZ aggro on you if you get the B breath it becomes very difficult you just have to wait it out so send the wolf in get ZZ's attention and then we're just gonna make the rounds and pick up the control stones from the mind flares Make sure you're not using AoEs out here because you do not want to kill the dogs accidentally and stay on top of the trash because you you know you want you don't want to drag it all in the center because we, you can actually you still have to kill it before you start charming the dogs because you want to make sure that once you charm the dogs they're on ZZ immediately if they're if they're not on ZZ right away even if it's just 10 15 seconds their charms might wear off before ZZ is vulnerable and you know if it, if it takes too long and the baby beholders start coming out it just starts getting it just starts turning into way too much of a headache stone. Probably could just use three, but just in case, let's make sure that Zizi's on the wolf and she's on me now. Wonderful. Now we've got four control stones. Drag them into your hot bar. Make sure all trash dead. I'm not worried about the damage that ZZ would do to me. I'm worried about the bee breath and make sure you're, you've got some distance between you and the hounds because you don't want to fail on these control stones because then you waste it. Make sure you heal them right away if they were down. Now ZZ should aggro on them, she has. You want to hit them with some buffs as fast as possible. Don't stand in front of her and get the deep breath. Bears and bulls are great. You can even do greater heroism. Some people will tell you don't cast GH on them because they'll say 
it can make them save against the charm. That is not true. The charm is just timed. It's, it doesn't work like a regular charm monster spell. It is special to the raid. You can see if you examine them, you can see how much time is left, which if you're ever doing this raid legit, you want to make sure you keep an eye on that. You know, if you're doing this on Elite, the dogs aren't going to be able to damage as easy enough to kill her uh, if you're doing Elite uh, uh, with one round of charming, so you're going to have to do a second round and you, you want to make sure that when you recharm them, you hit them right away as soon as they come out of that. Make sure you're taking care of this trash so that it's not on the dogs. so far, but a bunch of trash or a beholder that comes in, it's going to turn to a problem real fast. If you got Augment Summoning or Druid Path Lives, uh, it will buff the Charmed Dogs, which is really nice. They have three Path Lives of Druids, so they have plus six to all stats right now. I don't have augment summoning, um, but there are some items like the uh, necklace of mystic eidolons and the epic Roderick's wand that give it. I probably should have brought my Roderick's wand. There we go. Zizi has been damaged enough to buy the, her dogs that she becomes vulnerable to regular attacks. Still immune to magic. nice is, you know, if you're trying to farm for, like, your Thorak wraps for your wolf or something, you can just come down here, knock it out real quick, you don't have to get a group together. or whatever it is you're trying to farm out of Hondas Oriat. <laughs> 